Hey, hey, y'all. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. So I decided to create something. I wanted a quiche, but I didn't want just an ordinary, just vegetable um, quiche. I wanted something with a flair, something that was definitely different. So different it is. Um, what I am deciding to make today, it's still a quiche. It's still going to be a quiche. Um, but the quiche has a twist to it. This particular quiche is going to have, um, sorry, y'all, I'm just burning this up at the same time, but this particular quiche is about to have a buffalo cauliflower dip. So it's going to be a buffalo cauliflower quiche. And this is the buffalo cauliflower right here. Yep, that's cauliflower. That is cauliflower. With, um, with my famous buffalo sauce, I have um, cauliflower. I have uh, fresh... What is it? Fresh garlic, red onion, um, and then in my egg, I have heavy whipping cream. Um, I'm going to also put some spinach. So I'm going to put the spinach actually in my eggs. So um, I'm going to put that in there right now and I didn't do any crazy heavy seasoning with the quiche or with the eggs I didn't do anything just like bonkers I had salt pepper um paprika to give it like a little smoky flavor and um also some fresh garlic I love garlic um and I think I've put a little bit of turmeric in it but nothing crazy nothing just outlandish okay and heavy whipping cream and that's all I put in my eggs so it looks like I might have made too much mix but it's all good because it's still going to be delicious so when I usually make my quiche I do actually layer it I know it sounds really weird but I layer it so like I put some of my egg some of my egg and yes I um I baked my uh, pie crust just a little bit first I baked it a little bit and um, I'm gonna put it back in so it doesn't take that long to cook or the bottom won't be soggy um, then I layer it with some cheese so I'm just gonna layer it with it wasn't even a whole half a cup just grab some and layer it with that and then oh lord i know this is gonna be good then i'm gonna put my buffalo chicken and it is a little warm so hopefully i gotta move quick but i'm gonna put my buffalo chicken mixture in there just like that and it looks like it's gonna be like four scoops like that and I'm just gonna spread it around just like that yeah I dropped some on the oven but spread that just like that okay and then I'm gonna put another layer of my egg mixture and that's how that is gonna go so I'm gonna put that I'm probably going to add some more spinach right on top because, and even with this mix, even though it seems like I made too much, I can use the same mix to make something different. I can make some breakfast um, muffins and put that in my breakfast muffins or put that in my muffins. So just because I made too much or it looks like I made too much, it's still going to be okay. It's still, I can still use it for some other meal. So, I'm so excited. This is going to be so delicious. Super delicious. 
So, um, I will leave the actual recipe in the comments um, below. Um, but I just wanted to share that little bit with you all. So I'm about to layer this again with some cheese. Let me do two. And it's kind of running over the side. So I think next time I'll probably make a, um, I think I'll do a deep dish. That'll probably be better anyway. So that's what it looks like, y'all. It looks so delicious. Yes. Stay tuned. Check out my video. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Comment. Tell your friends about me. I'm about to do it up. Do it a little bit more. Okay? Peace out. Happy Tuesday. Yum.